Hi. Hi there. Uh, I'm Jeremy, showing off our Ventana product. This is true micro LED, extremely high dynamic range. You can build any shape and size wall you want to create something over 200 inches, or go small, or go different shapes and sizes. Uh, is this over 200 diagonal? This is over 200 diagonal. This is about 220 inches. Uh, we're actually feeding this on the HDMI booth with an 8K video signal on a physical 6K uh, size screen. Uh, so the processing that lives inside these tiles can actually upscale and downscale. And I'd like to show you the form factor of this as well. This is so cool. There's, uh, there's a bunch of tiles in there. Exactly. Right? Uh, and uh, if we can have a look right here against the wall, you're showing them. So what, what do you see here? So the large display is made up of many modules of micro LED, and these are put together in a very interesting form factor. So we have a square tile that's about a square foot, 300 by 300 millimeters. It's extremely thin, and it goes up on a very simple magnetic grid. So we put a grid on the wall for the tile array. There are no cables very simple magnetic connections and it's very easy even as like a almost a DIY TV uh, to take these on and off the wall and build up any shape and size you like. So a bunch of magnets here and some pogo pins or what Correct. do you call those? Yes, and exactly. And they all connect magically. They magically connect. We make an auto mesh between all the tiles. They're very simple to put on. Just clicks, Whoa. that's it. I can do it. You can do it yourself. And then the tiles energize, they talk to each other, they know who's to the left, who's to the right, top and bottom. You can mix them. And you can mix any shape and size you want. That's awesome. Nobody does that. Nobody. This is the only display product like this on the planet. How do you make sure nobody pulls them off and takes them home? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, for a commercial application, we do have a little safety on the back so that you can do exactly that. Uh, so we have a mechanism here. Uh, that can actually screw in so that the tile can't uh, be removed, like with a safety wire. And you need access behind, right? Uh, you could do a safety wire, like uh, the, if you're old enough to remember going to the bank and having to write the deposit slip with the pen, uh, and it has a little chain on it, we can do a safety wire. So if you might be able to pull the tile, but it would, uh, it would not come off the wall. Uh, but also when you build a large array, uh, there's no way to physically actually grab the, the edge of the tile like we have on this demo. Uh, and so you would need special uh, maintenance tools to take the tile off. All right. So there it's obvious there's a, a delimitation because it's two different videos. And I, I guess, does it have to do with calibration to get rid of uh, any visual, uh, uh, what do you call borders? Or how does that work? Yeah, so we, we have an array of the tiles, and so every individual uh, module there, there's six in every single tile, each module gets individually calibrated for every red, every green, every blue of every single pixel. This metadata is actually stored in memory in the tile, so when they're all connected, they automatically calibrate themselves to know where they are in the array and what colorimetry they're supposed to have. And we're showing here, these will look visually different um, because we're showing both finish options that we have. So some applications, people prefer a matte finish. Some applications, people prefer uh, a glossy finish. So the glossy we call liquid black. This has the deepest black level, very similar to an OLED TV. And this is fantastic for the best high dynamic range wonderful for any kind of environment where you need that very deep inky black. Uh, so I'm just standing here uh, in front of this trailer, right? Uh, yes. And this is glossy, I can see, right? Yes, this is glossy. We felt for a trade show, we wanted to stand out a little bit more. Uh, so this is something very large with the glossy that it does have some glare because of all of the trade show lighting, but it looks more like an OLED TV than looking like something technical that might be in a conference room. And so we thought this was a very uh, innovative surface finish. When it's glossy, there's also the risk you might see the, the separations a little bit more than when it's matte? Yes, correct. So when it's matte, you don't see anything? When it's matte, you don't see the, those at all. So that's a trade-off that you have yeah. to make when you make the, uh, the choice between the surface finishes. So when I go here to the matte, uh, it's, I need to be very, very close to see anything, right? Uh, at any kind of like distance, it'll be impossible to see. Right? Uh, because I'm talking about those huge lights that exactly. are up in the roof. 
And uh, a CES always has these huge lights. Yes, exactly. And uh, you're so, fighting with that a little bit. Exactly. We fight with that a little bit on the trade show floor, but typically in a living room, you wouldn't have those types of lights, so we don't have the same uh, type of uh, glare on the edges. And you say 8K, you, you mentioned 8K. Yes, we can ingest 8K. We can also actually run rasters that are 16K and 32K even. Uh, the background of our company, uh, Ventana is the brand name of these micro LED tiles. Our company is called Megapixel. And many of us have been in uh, even the filmmaking industry for 20 years. And so a lot of the tile technology as well as the processing technology that's built into this is actually used for motion picture production. And so we're bringing cinematic technology into the home and you're getting the, basically the best possible picture quality that you can in the world. Uh, what do you think people would want to have a uh, glossy or matte at home? You know, if somebody has a big enough wall for this, what are they going to choose? Uh, I, you know, I feel sometimes like that's asking somebody if they'd prefer a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. Um, everybody has personal choice uh, when it comes to things. I personally would do the liquid black because I love the very, very deep black level. Um, I think it has a, a surface finish that's unlike anything else. Uh, but let's say you're putting something in your home where you're not watching movies. Maybe you want to display artwork uh, down a hallway and you want a square display or a portrait display. For artwork, absolutely, you would want the matte version because that would be uh, more uh, reflective in feeling uh, for the light. If it's, in a home, if it's a home cinema, mm -hmm. you're probably not going to have CES lights in your living room. Exactly. If, the, if, if this is like for dark. home cinema, uh, the, the inky black, uh, amazing HDR that you get with the liquid black is the way to go. Nice. This is awesome. Uh, so this is a thanks. great tool for architects. It is, absolutely. Uh, thanks for pointing that out. So one of the things that we did when we designed the system is we wanted the shape and the tile to actually mimic uh, a building material. So the, the reason that we chose a square tile and that we made it exactly the, the, the thinness uh, that it is is because we wanted an architect or an interior decorator to pick it up and think about it as a building material. Could, could you so, pick it up and just uh, show yes, it right here? Yes, uh, let me, let me yeah. grab one for you. So the shape and size of the tile is very, uh, very much the same that you would have for a marble tile or a ceramic tile. Same thing with the thickness. So this can actually be treated as a building material and an architect can design this into a space. This can be everything from uh, a 30 foot long kitchen backsplash to an entire wall. You could do a ceiling. Uh, you could wrap around columns. You could wrap around a fireplace. Uh, really anything where you can put wallpaper uh, and paint and drywall and, and stone, you could do a media tile as well. So one thing I'm afraid to ask, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the eventual dream is that these are not too expensive. Correct. So to, uh, in today's market with this technology, it is indeed still expensive. Uh, displays, it's brand new. Exactly, it's brand new, never been done before. You need mass production to get the price down. Exactly, so uh, screens that are fairly large, they'll start in the, the low six figures and can go even up to a million dollars. Uh, this particular tile though, we absolutely will see over time, uh, will come down in cost. And this is something that, uh, you know, eventually, Maybe you'll buy at a tile uh, section of Home Depot or uh, at, a, at a Best Buy shop and <laughs> yeah. walk out with 10 tiles. At the Costco. Exactly. You just go to the aisle 11, uh, the shelf, and you just get your thing, and you put it directly in your, in your Cybertruck yeah. uh, trunk or something, and then <laughs> you just exactly bring it home. Right. And, uh, and in terms of square meter or square mm -hmm. feet, what would be great is eventually, if, okay, you cannot match the LCDs maybe, but the OLED or something like that, if you can get the, that kind of price yes. as a home OLED 65 inch in terms of price per square feet. That's exactly right. And it absolutely will go there. So in today's market for television application, uh, this is definitely aimed at anything much larger than 100 inches because the TV cannot be produced uh, much larger than that. Uh, but absolutely, eventually you'll be able to just build any shape and size TV that you want. Uh, and you're not limited by making it 16.9 either. How many are there of these there? Uh, this is 16 tiles wide by eight tiles tall, uh, giving us a diagonal of roughly 215 uh, inches. And that's, uh, uh, you say eight times 16? Oh, what do you Correct. say? Correct. Eight times Correct. 16, so that's... Uh, so if my math is right, is that 144? 126? 126. What is it? I'm, 
128. There we go. 128. <laughs> yeah. Third time's the charm. <laughs> so there's 128 of these for between six figure and a million. So uh, people can calculate. Yes. Basically, right? And, yeah. Uh, yeah. This would be sort of somewhere in the middle. All right. And. Uh, do you get 4K with that many, or you need even more to do, to do 8K? You go, to do 8K, I mean. It's actually uh, even bigger. This size screen is about 6K resolution native. Uh, so we're able to either bring in 4K content and scale it up, or 8K content and scale it down. And so to do the full 8K, you need a few more of these. Yes. Right. Yes, you'd go a little bit bigger. And where is the processing happening? Do you have a huge supercomputer behind with the That's NVIDIA a good GPU question. and everything? It's very simple. So uh, you can be playing back content off of uh, a computer, uh, something like an Apple TV, uh, Blu-ray, uh, PlayStation, all these kinds of things. So any kind of normal source. Uh, we're here in the HDMI booth, so certainly anything with an HDMI output uh, you can plug in, and it's just plug and play. Um, and then that goes into a processing unit uh, that I can show you in this credenza here. It's one RU, and that one RU can process 35 million pixels in any shape and size. So a couple hundred of these tiles easily. All right. Let's uh, let's ask uh, just behind here if you can. Uh, Do you mind if I uh, access this? Do you want to see under here? There's like the the processor that runs the whole uh, screen. All so right. Let me move some things oh, yeah. down here. Right. So that's the that's the. Render. So, so this is the this is the processor. Let me peel this off here. Yeah. So, so our company Megapixel manufactures this. This goes into uh, digital cinema. This goes into screening rooms. This makes blockbuster movies. We're driving a lot of virtual production. A lot of uh, broadcast studios. Uh, other booths even here at CES that have third-party LED. We drive with this, so we've been in the professional display industry for many, many years, and Ventana is the first tile that we're uh, launching as a consumer product. So people know Megapixel out there? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and you can even go buy an LG uh, micro LED or Sony micro LED that will come with a Megapixel processing system. Oh, wow. So micro LEDs that are coming, you are there? Yes. This yeah. is we're a at the zero, center of all of it. 0 0.8? This is 0 0.8. We pinch, also, right? correct, we also have a 1.2 millimeter launching later this year uh, for larger arrays. And how about going even smaller? Does that make sense? It does make sense. Uh, one so of the things- you could fit 8K in there. You could fit 8K in there. So one of the things that we've focused on is that we like the, the 0 0.8 because it's a good ratio of being very high resolution but having good black level uh, and allowing somebody to go very big. Um, when we go smaller dot pitch, it is more challenging to have a, a, an amazing black level like we have with the 0.8. And then the cost goes even higher because the cost per pixel really is what you're paying for. So this seemed like a good sweet spot for us to start with. Uh, uh, do you work with partners to uh, the technology might, might be used if it's mass transfer? Or how does it work the, to actually manufacture these? That's a good question. Um, we don't talk about that publicly, uh, but what I can say is that uh, everything is manufactured under our own designs, our own controls, and factories that we, uh, we have staff at. Uh, everything is made um, in a full stack where we own the hardware design, the firmware, the software, all of the programming and the processing. So uh, it's a little bit akin to like a, an iPhone where one company that's able to design every single aspect of hardware and software can kind of make one plus one equal three, and that's what we've done with this product. And where is that? Do you make it? We make all of the processing actually in California, uh, and the tile is produced in Taiwan. All right. So uh, that means uh, it, I, I don't want to ask the secrets or anything, but it could be like an ASIC or FPGA or something that kind of. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. So so we have uh, we have a large uh, SOC that's in the the main processor. Um, that's handling all of the 8K and all of the distribution, uh, whether it's baseband input uh, from HDMI, we go output fiber optic uh, to the tile array, and then every tile actually has a very small processor built into it. So every time you add a tile, you're also adding a video processor. So the larger your wall, the larger your processing array actually, and everything works uh, in harmony and stays in sync. And my website is also armdevices.net, so I'm guessing it might be some ARM SOCs in there. 
could be. There might be some ARM processing yeah. happening, yeah. Yeah. Especially the smaller one and, uh, and all these tiles, mm -hmm. it could make sense. Yep. And then uh, you, need, you just need to drive however many pixels there is in one. Exactly. And how, ma how many exactly. are there in one? So in the 0 0.8, uh, this is 360 by 360 pixels. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, and so the, the, just uh, the one that's here, is it fully yes. calibrated already? Like you said, is like pre-calibrated and everything? Uh, yes, this wall here we've taken to quite a few trade shows already. so. This is definitely not a product that's meant for uh, uh, you know rental usage and going in and out, but it has been used several times. Uh, but this all gets calibrated uh, on site. We typically take two days for an installation, one day to prep the wall and make sure that it's flat and that we have power run and everything. And then a second day is for the tiles to click on and uh, get calibrated. Because if I understand correctly, the calibration is about making sure the whole colors and the brightness is smooth throughout Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. That's exactly right. So you right. don't see any... We don't want to see individual modules. We don't want to see individual tiles. So when this gets installed in a home, it's absolutely like a, like a sheet of paper. And I guess some people with huge mansions are interested. And otherwise, yes. it's mostly industrial, right? It's mostly uh, it, it's retail. Both. It's both. So uh, as a company, we provide uh, displays for high-end uh, luxury brands. Uh, in retail, uh, we do some things in automotive, we do things with factories as well, uh, concert touring, movie making, but we have these now going into the home. It's now in a form factor uh, that's not a, a bulky industrial thing and it's something that's uh, a nice form factor that can go into a home. And if you don't mind, if I can just ask a little bit, the uh, first time I come back since 2020 and this sphere is pretty cool. It is. How did they make that? What is it? Uh, it's, that like, it? it's big pixels. Yeah, so on the outside of the sphere, that's actually very large uh, uh, illuminated pucks that are kind of acting as a video pixel. So that gets all mapped and it's driven by GPUs. Uh, and then the interior is also LED, uh, made out of uh, very uh, many, many shapes and sizes uh, of modules that go together, uh, very industrial. Um, mechanics behind it to uh, to hold those together, but uh, it's also LED technology, just not not quite the resolution and sophistication well, of this. What's one. awesome is that it uh, is Las Vegas is the number one convention mm -hmm. city in the world. Everybody gets to see that, and it just gets the hype up for all the applications. That's a good of LED. point. It's really Microly. nice. Everybody wants that stuff. Now, exactly. Right? More it and really more. it raises the awareness yeah. of uh, of LED in general. Uh, and the type of technology that it is. And it's quite differentiated from LCD and OLED. And it really, we believe, is the future for all of the, the high-tech displays. It's a bit hard to make a big LCD like that. <laughs> it is, yeah. You you wouldn't be able to get that up the uh, the elevator of your okay. uh, condo this building. You need a Gen uh, 45 fab or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. And a and helicopter the, and probably the OLEDs, to, to drop it onto your roof. OLEDs will not ha will have a the size OLEDs limit. won't get that big. And now if you want something that big, you can just have a box of tiles and so, uh, you know, these can be carried in very simply and easily. And uh, the argument here at the HDMI booth is uh, you want 8K, okay, but you need a big to actually see all the pixels. Yeah. You need a bigger. Exactly. You need a yeah. bigger display. And so how do you have a bigger display? This is a perfect solution.